Are you thinking about relocating to North Carolina, but you can't decide whether you want to move to Charlotte or to Raleigh? That's the topic of my video today, and you should watch it because a realtor in Raleigh, Ellen Pitts, will be joining me today to compare notes between my city, Charlotte, and her city, Raleigh. Which is better, Charlotte or Raleigh? You be the judge and don't go away, it's coming right up. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor with the Ally Group of EX Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. I create YouTube videos about Greater Charlotte real estate, neighborhoods, lifestyle, where to eat, work and play. And today, we will be talking about job market, transportation, housing market, entertainment, where to go, sports, schools, and of course, where to find the best food in the city. I've seen many videos on Charlotte versus Raleigh, but this time we're gonna give you vital information to help you make a decision, especially when you're considering moving to North Carolina. First thing first, let's talk about the basic information on these two cities. Charlotte has 297.7 square miles, while Raleigh has 147.6 square miles, just half of Charlotte's size. Charlotte has a population of 885,700 as of May 2020, according to the U.S. Census and one of the fastest growing metropolitan cities in the U.S., whereas Raleigh has 474,069, according to the U.S. Census as of July 2019. Did you know that more than 100 people a day move to Charlotte? Let's talk about the jobs in Charlotte and the top employers. Charlotte is the second largest banking center in the United States behind New York City because Bank of America's corporate headquarters are located in Charlotte. Wells Fargo's East Coast operations are also in Charlotte. Charlotte serves as the headquarters city for six Fortune 500 companies. These companies are Bank of America, Sonic Automobile, Lowe's Home Improvement, Duke Energy, Sealed Air and Nucor. Honeywell, a Fortune 100 company, moved its global corporate headquarters to Uptown Charlotte recently. Amazon, the e-commerce giant, opened its new 600,000 square foot CLT9 sort center on September 20, 2020 in West Charlotte. The company will hire 1,100 full and part-time workers at the sort center. There is also an Amazon Fulfillment Center in Kannapolis, a suburb of Charlotte. There are currently many job openings for warehouse personnel starting from $15 an hour. Forbes magazine ranked Charlotte number two on their list of the cities creating the most tech jobs in 2017. There are also many financial service companies in Charlotte. Raleigh has a very diversified employment sector, which is fantastic. Our major employment industries are technology with companies like Red Hat, Cisco, Epic Games, and SaaS, pharmaceuticals like Pfizer and GlaxoSmithKline. Education is a huge part of our economy with almost a dozen colleges and universities in the triangle with top tier schools like Duke, UNC, Chapel Hill, and NC State anchoring our education industry. In Raleigh proper, in addition to NC State, we have all female institutions like Meredith College and HBCUs like Shaw and St. Augustine's, and finally, government. Raleigh is the state capital and home to the governor's office, the state legislature, and the North Carolina Supreme Court. And now, the housing market. You'll be surprised that the home prices in Charlotte and the surrounding areas are very affordable, especially if you're moving from Los Angeles, New York City, or any big city. According to Canopy Multiple Listing Service, also known as Charlotte Multiple Listing Service, the median price for single-family homes sold in October 2020 was $306,500, while the average selling price was $411,000. $623. Lake Norman, which is north of Charlotte, has an average selling price of $523,412 and median price at $379,000. 
there are many stunning waterfront homes for sale starting from $650,000 to over $7 million. Real estate in Raleigh is almost the same as Charlotte Real Estate. The median price is between $306,000 and $316,000 for a 2,000 plus square foot home in the month of October 2020. Let's take a look at transportation. You be the judge, Charlotte or Raleigh. The Charlotte Douglas International Airport, which is a large airport, is currently undergoing a major renovation project. Destination CLT is the airport's $2.5 to $3.1 billion capital investment program renovating and expanding the airport. In terms of total flights, Charlotte Douglas International Airport is among the top 10 busiest airports in the U.S. As far as public transportation, the Charlotte area transit system known as CATS offers rail and bus mass transit around the area. This includes a bus rapid transit line called the Sprinter, a light rail line called the Lynx Blue Line, and a streetcar line called City Lynx Gold Line. Transportation. I know Charlotte is probably going to win in this category because they've got a train, but Raleigh is really trying to beef up their public transportation options. Currently, Raleigh's main source for public transportation is the Go Raleigh bus system, which is part of the Greater Go Triangle bus system. In the last couple of years, the bus system has been expanded to include more buses, more routes, and free rides for kids ages 13 to 18, as well as the students of our local community colleges. My kids have really enjoyed the increased freedom of having a source of transportation outside of the mom van. It's been pretty cool for me as well. The next clip is a combination of entertainment and places to go categories in Charlotte. Let's watch and take notes. Charlotte is home to several museums for art, history, and even motorsports. Visit the Mint Museum, Harvey B. Gant Center for African American Arts and Culture, Beckler Museum of Modern Art, McCall Center for Art and Innovation, NASCAR Hall of Fame, and Discovery Place for Kids. Enjoy Carowinds, a thrill ride amusement park in the Carolinas. Carowinds is a 407-acre amusement park located along the North Carolina, South Carolina state line. Blumenthal Performing Arts Center. If you're looking for what to do related to culture in Charlotte and live entertainment, come to the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center. Queen's Landing in Morseville. If you love to see Lake Norman on a cruise, get on this sightseeing cruise in Morseville, more or less a 38-minute drive north of uptown Charlotte. If you are a beer drinker, you'll find that it's heaven to come to Charlotte. There are tours and tastings in these breweries like Divine Barrel Brewing, Old McNamara Brewery, and Sycamore Brewing. Are you a music lover? The PNC Music Pavilion and Fillmore Charlotte are just two of the many places to visit. If you love the outdoors and adventures, there are so many places to go here in Charlotte and the surrounding areas. The U.S. National Whitewater Center is the world's premier outdoor facility featuring whitewater rafting, biking, zip lines, live music, crop brews, and more. There are three amazing man-made lakes in the Charlotte suburbs. The largest is Lake Norman with 520 miles of shoreline, Lake Wiley has 325 miles of shoreline, and the smallest is Mountain Island Lake with 27 miles of shoreline. Experience water sport and lake lifestyle at nearby Lake Norman or Lake Wiley. Canoeing, kayaking, boating, swimming, and fishing are great outdoor activities to enjoy. Hendrick Water Sports Museum is located in Concord, North Carolina, one mile from Charlotte Motor Speedway. The campus features state-of-the-art facilities and technology, which the organization's four NASCAR Cup Series teams employ in preparation for race day. Do you like roller coaster and thrill rides? Come to Carowinds, the premier entertainment and thrill ride amusement park in the Carolinas. 
Come and visit the family-friendly 18-hole miniature golf course with rugged landscaping and a snack bar located in Cornelius, North Carolina, which is only 18 miles north of Uptown Charlotte. Now let's see Raleigh's combination of entertainment and sports. Raleigh is a very active city and much of that activity centers around our amazing outdoor spaces. One of the things people move here for is because we have nice weather pretty much year round. There's almost never a time where you won't find people outdoors hiking or biking on the local greenways, kayaking or canoeing in our local lakes and rivers. Umstead Park with its almost 5,600 acres, three lakes and 20 miles of hiking, biking and equestrian trails is only a 12 minute drive from the heart of the city. Raleigh also has some amazing local museums and most of them are free to the public. The North Carolina Museum of Natural Science is the largest natural history museum in the Southeast. I love the NC Museum of History right next door and the NC Museum of Art is one of the leading art museums in the South, which recently opened the NCMA Art Park, the first collaboration among artists, designers, and environmental scientists to create works of art inspired by the natural world. The Duke Energy Center for the Performing Arts is Raleigh's premier performing arts venue, housing Raleigh Memorial Auditorium, Maimondi Concert Hall, and the A.J. Fletcher Opera Theater, the Black Box Kennedy Theater, and the Licton Plaza for outdoor events. Both the Carolina Ballet and the North Carolina Symphony call Raleigh home. The PNC Arena hosts concerts as well as being the home base for the Carolina Hurricanes and the NC State Wolfpacks basketball team. Right across the street from the PNC Arena is the Carter-Finley Stadium, where you can catch all the Wolfpacks football games. Raleigh also hosts the State Fair every fall. Now let's watch the sports in Charlotte. And as you know, Charlotte has major sports teams. One of the best parts of the Charlotte community is the passionate sports fans. If you're into live sporting events, Charlotte teams include the Carolina Panthers for football, Charlotte Hornets for basketball, Charlotte Checkers for hockey, and Charlotte Knights for minor league baseball. The Charlotte Motor Speedway is also a major attraction for motorsport lovers. There is a planned major league soccer team that is expected to begin playing in 2022 called Charlotte Football Club. Watch out, Major League Soccer fans! The next category is food and restaurants. Are you hungry yet? Metropolitan Charlotte is huge with hundreds of restaurants, so here's the brief video for Charlotte's food enthusiasts. If you love dining out, Charlotte offers a wide array of restaurants from American to international cuisines. The Queen City is famous for its Carolina barbecue, local breweries, and home to a wide range of delicious cuisines from the national chain as well as independent restaurants. You can find all types of food such as Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, Mexican, Indian, you name it, there's a restaurant for everyone. Optimus Hall is a transformative mixed-use development with a food hall located just outside of Uptown Charlotte in the Optimus Park neighborhood. The $60 million redevelopment of an old mill includes 83,000 square feet of office space occupied by Duke Energy a 22,000 square foot food hall and an additional 32,000 square feet of anchor restaurant and outdoor space. Optimus Hall has a total of 21 confirmed tenants selling ramen and bun, coffee, gelato, customizable sushi, draft beer, wine, gourmet grilled cheese, dumplings, cold pressed juice, Neapolitan pizza, a variety of tacos, Argentinian empanadas, healthy pet store, gift and stationery store, and social club. If you're a foodie, Raleigh will not disappoint. Privately owned restaurants, farm to table, and ethnic foods are all popular here. Award-winning chef Ashley Christensen owns several popular restaurants in Raleigh featuring unique twists on Southern cuisine. Other popular favorites are Taverna Agora Greek Kitchen Bar, Neomond Lebanese Cafe, and Guasaca Arepa and Salsa Grip. The last category is about schools in North Carolina. Let's see what Raleigh has. Schools. 
Wake County Public Schools are some of the top rated schools in the country. About 90% of our public schools are A or B rated by test scores. We also have a thriving magnet program with multiple schools recognized nationally. We have charter schools with many different themes and Wake County parents also have the option of choosing a year-round calendar. And of course, Charlotte's school system. There are many highly rated schools in the greater Charlotte, but as a realtor, I cannot give you my personal opinion but I'm gonna give you all those sources. Check out carolinaschoolhub.com where you can find the ratings for elementary, middle, and high schools in the Charlotte area. You can also search on greatschools.org and for direct links, see the description below. And for exclusive and private schools, here are the prominent schools in the greater Charlotte. Providence Day School, Charlotte Country Day School, Charlotte Latin School, Cannon School, Charlotte Catholic High School, Gaston Day School, and many others. Bear in mind that some of these schools' tuition fees are as much as you would pay in public universities. So what do you think? Move to Charlotte or move to Raleigh? Which is better, Charlotte or Raleigh? You be the judge. But I think you're going to be happy to move to our state, North Carolina, more so if you move here in the Charlotte area. I know it's a big city, but there are other areas or suburbs of Charlotte that are really like country vibe and I think you're going to like it here. So who's the winner? Charlotte or Raleigh? I know I am biased, but in my opinion, Charlotte wins in most categories. However, Raleigh is the capital of North Carolina and more commonly known for its Research Triangle Park or RTP which is named for its Tri-City region of Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. There are three universities that are highly rated not just in the state of North Carolina, but the country as a whole. The University of North Carolina, or UNC, is in Chapel Hill, Duke University is in Durham, North Carolina, and the NC State University is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Want to learn more about Raleigh? Check out Ellen's YouTube channel. And if you enjoy this video and you get some value, just go ahead and click that subscribe button below. And if you don't want to miss any of our video that we publish every Friday, make sure you ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.